Question 10 says, in each cycle of its operation, a heat engine expels 3,000 joules of energy and performs 1,700 joules of mechanical work. A. How much thermal energy must be added to the engine in each cycle? And B. Find the thermal efficiency of the engine. So part A asks us how much thermal energy needs to be added to the system. So we can use our first law of thermodynamics. The internal energy is the amount of thermal energy that needs to be added. And that's equal to the amount of energy transferred by heat plus the work done on the engine. And so how much energy was transferred by heat? It tells us in there that, that 3,000 uh, joules of energy was transferred by heat, but it wasn't transferred into the energy, it was transferred out. So negative 3,000 joules of energy was transferred by heat. And how much work was done on the engine? It tells us that the engine performs 1,700 joules of mechanical work. So there's, there's 1,700 joules of energy done as work on the environment by the engine. So the work by the engine is equal to the negative of the work on the engine. So if the work of the uh, engine on the environment is equal to uh, 1700 then negative W equals 1700 and W equals negative 1700 joules so W is negative 1700 joules of energy done on the si on the engine so the the change of internal energy is equal to negative 3,000 minus 1,700. So the change of internal energy is equal to four, negative 4,700. And so the, if it loses that much energy every, every cycle, then it has to replace the 4,700 joules of energy every cycle. In order to find the efficiency, we can set up uh, a couple of different ways. The way I like to do it is to say that the work of the engine over the heat transferred from the hot reservoir. We already know what both of those uh, amounts are. For example, we, we know that the work of the engine is 1,700, and we know that Q is uh, 3,000. And so I'm, I'm using the absolute value of Q, so uh, one, uh, it's the absolute value of 3,000 is positive 3,000. So I'll make that explicit in my equation. The other, the other thing I want to make explicit is it's the work of the engine. So it's the positive 1,700 over positive 3,000. So the efficiency of the engine is 36.17. Uh, zero two percent. So I'm try to mark that off. So this time it is in percent because uh, when you look at the uh, the problem on the web assign homework, it actually has a percent sign right next to the problem. So you don't have to enter the percent sign yourself. It's already there. So the engine is thirty six percent efficient. So now we just have a couple of questions. What? How much work does the engine do on the environment? So what is the work of the engine? Uh, it says it's 17, it does 1,700 joules of mechanical work. And it also says that it expels 3,000 joules of energy. So, so delta U is equal to 3,000 joules.